Yes, okay. for sure. Oh, 
Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be starting the performance in just under 10 minutes, so we just wanted to make one last announcement. If you want to get a soda or a drink or a little snack, now would be the time to do it because we're going to be settling in for some great music shortly. So thanks for coming, and we're going to start the show in just under 10 minutes. Thank you.
Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Jazz Loft. We are so excited that you are all here this evening as our guests for what I know is going to be a very exciting and musical evening. We are so happy to have partnered with Stony Brook University and their music department, specifically their pre-college division under the direction of Michael Herskowitz, who's here this evening. And I have to tell you, uh, having been involved as a faculty member with the pre-college program for a few years now, uh, this transition was just so exciting. First of all, to be able to work in this beautiful space every day, uh, to add the faculty that we added, to uh, add to the curriculum that we have, and we have plans to even expand it even further. It's just been some exciting, exciting Saturdays, to say the least. So thank you for your support uh, of your sons, daughters, grandchildren, nieces, nephews, brothers, sisters, whatever they are to you. We've had a wonderful time and I know you're going to see the results this evening. So before we start, a few housekeeping details. If you have a cell phone, please take it out. Phone a friend and tell them there's four seats left. Only four seats left. And at that point, please silence it. Uh, we absolutely encourage you to take photos, just we ask that you refrain from anything with a flash because that's kind of distracting to our performers. And by all means, share them on social media and Facebook and all that good stuff. And that's about it. The other thing we do encourage you to do, we are going to have a brief intermission in between the two jazz combos performing this evening. Feel free, if you haven't been to the Jazz Loft, to look around all of the wonderful exhibits. Uh, there really is some exciting stuff here pertaining to jazz, that's for sure. So, without further ado, I ask that you would put together your hands and give a warm Jazz Loft welcome to one of our jazz combos under the direction of Mr. Chris Donahue. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Upstairs Jazz Combo. Thank you. 
I was I was I was forced to do a Christmas song, so we <laughs> so we we decided to choose that one. That was uh, that was Frosty the Song Man, and uh, thank you thank you so much. I, I welcome to the Jazz Loft. Welcome to our concert, our winter concert. Um, uh, let's first things first. You heard from Shana Schwartzberg on the vibe. <laughs> Daniel Dan Julian on the alto saxophone. Alex Guitar on the piano. Andrew Ceviche Cavis on the bass. And Dylan Maggio on the drums. Yeah, so that was, we just wanted to open with something Christmassy, get us in the mood here, and something for the holiday spirit. Happy holidays to everybody here, and uh, and uh, it's, great, it's great to see a packed house for these kids. I mean, they've worked really hard, and uh, the first thing we said, uh, I guess, when, uh, when Mr. Hershkowitz and Mr. Manuel came in and we saw each other, we were like, my God, can you believe that it's already the first concert? And we were like, yeah. And, I, and in my head, I'm like, well, that's, that's what happens when you're having fun, you're having a good time. Things go by really quick, so we have been having a great time. Um, with, with, in the combo, in the, in the, uh, in the theory classes, and, and everything. So this is sort of an opportunity for us to show you the work that we have been doing. So we're going to keep going. Uh, the next piece that we're going to do is a, a Dan Harrell chart. Uh, he's a keyboard player, uh, sort of a modern, sort of bebop, hard bop kind of, uh, kind of a sound. And this is a, a great tune that's going to feature a couple guys in the band that I'll announce after we're done. All right, so here is Scooter.
Excellent. Wow, guys. Yeah. Bringing it. All right, that was Dylan Maggio on the drums in the beginning there. <laughs> Dan Julian on the alto saxophone. Alex Tarrant on the piano. <laughs> and holding it down on the bass again. Come on, give it up right now. <laughs> Yeah, we had a lot of fun with that tune. We experimented. Uh, it says my name or, uh, next to like the arrangements of, of a bunch of the tunes, but but what we really wanted to do uh, is really sort of be a jazz combo and do what a jazz combo does. And so and so and so, I came up with an arrangement, you know, of the tune that we were going to do, and then we all sort of put our own input on it. And so and 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 it really it really was. You know, every one of these tunes is is credited not only to me but to the whole band. They they really they really all brought. Wonderful things to the table in, in trying to create something that was you know new and original, and uh, and uh, and I really I really think they did a great job, and you're going to continue to hear that as we go through. Um, the next tune, however, is we tried to model it just right after the record, uh, and then this is a, a great Herbie Hancock tune uh, called "And What If I Don't," and it's going to feature Shana. Oh no, we're to oh I'm sorry, toys, my fault, I'm sorry. Well, this is another Herbie Hancock tune. Thank God I did two Herbie in, in a row. Well, then go back to what I said. This is this is definitely a, an arrangement. We uh, we all put our two cents in on it. So here we go. Toys, just what we all want for Christmas.
Yeah, that's uh, that's from a, a beautiful a beautiful record uh, called Speak Like a Child, and it was uh, Herbie wrote the record essentially just parts of his childhood, and that was one of the one of the pieces that he that he that he came up with, and it's such a beautiful tune. If you listen on the record, it's it's voice for all these different uh, different you know horns and all this stuff, and we were able to sort of mold it to our group, and uh, and that's what we came up with. So thank you so much. Uh, you heard from Andrew Cavice on the bass. Yeah. Holding, down, holding down the bass part and the trombone part and the tuba part, holding down everything. So there you go. Excellent. And Alex Sitar, that was kind of a speaker on that. So. You, did, you did very proud. You did very proud right there. Beautiful solo, beautiful solo. Okay, we're going to continue with Herbie because I'm, I've always been obsessed with him. He's unbelievable. So this is... A little bit different. This is an earlier Herbie, Herbie Hancock record, um, and uh, this is a really fun tune, Shuffle, and it is called, And What If I Don't? What If I Don't?
Dylan Maggio on the drums. Shane Schwartzberg on, on the vibe. Andrew Sevilla Gavis on the bass. And once again, on the piano, Alex Sitar. Well, um, I, I, uh, I am uh, I'm sad to say that we've come to a close on our first one. We have one more tune for you, but um, I just wanted to say I just wanted to say thank you for for having such incredibly talented children that I can work with every single Saturday. It makes me. You know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a school teacher myself, and, and every school teacher looks forward to Saturday. But but what's funny is I look forward to Saturday for a different reason. It's so that I, I can I can work with these kids every Saturday. I mean, it's just it's an absolute pleasure. I mean, we get to talk about concepts and things that that are that are on on I mean on the college level, on the professional level, and and we get to do it every Saturday and come together at this beautiful place. I mean, thank you to Tom Manuel for for having us here. At, at the, at the there he is. Right there, ladies and Thank you for to Michael Hers uh, Hershkowitz for for hiring me and letting me do this. Oh my God. Thank you so much. And of course, thank you to the kids for letting me play on Frosty. I really appreciated that. So, thank you. Yeah, so uh, but no, thank you to the parents, of course, and uh, thank you guys for, for working so hard. And, uh, and you're going to hear it in this next tune that is definitely, definitely something that we all sort of put our two cents in, three cents, five cents, whatever. So, uh, so uh, once, once again, the band, the, the upstairs, the upstairs tower. And I'm, I'm sure I'll talk to many of you after, after the gig, but happy holidays and uh, and enjoy enjoy on your intermission. Enjoy this place. Oh my God, there's so many cool things to look at. Check out the art. Check out anything uh, downstairs, uh, Mill Hayden's room. Oh my God. So I'm, I'm sure you know about it. But but here is our final tune, uh, and is uh, it's going to feature. Uh, uh, let's see. We have Dan on the on the alto, Shana on the vibes, and then you will hear Brandon on the drums. Okay, here we go. Here is Milestones.
Dan Julian. Michael Fastball. Alex Attard on the piano. Andrew Benitz on the bass. And Dan Benaggio on the drums. Thank you so much. We have the combo of stands. Please enjoy your intermission, and we, you will see another great band, the combo downstairs. Thank you so much, guys. We'll take a short intermission.
why I wanted to see the program.
have to put this one on.
How's everybody doing? Enjoying yourself so far? Was that group great? Uh-huh. Well, you know, Saturdays are, are pretty exciting for those of you that are family and friends. I'm sure the parents know this, but we start off and we have music theory, jazz theory up here. And then we break down and uh, have a little break. And then one of the combos is up here and one of the combos is downstairs. Hence, the upstairs combo and the downstairs combo. So we are the downstairs combo that's relegated to, you know, the lower floor. But trust me, it's a lot better than the basement of the music building at Stony Brook University where we came from. That room was kind of rough. That was really, that was really paying your dues. So, uh, but this semester in the new year, um, we're gonna switch. And that's one of the beautiful things about this program is then uh, the combo that I led that you see in front of you, we'll get to work with Mr. Donahue. And I will have Mr. Donahue's combo and they will, uh, we will completely corrupt their minds and absolutely brainwash them for all things jazz, you know? So between the two of us, they, they will have no hope of escape, that's for sure, so. Um, I thought it'd be interesting for us to uh, open up with a tune for you that is from the archives of the Jazz Loft. And this is a tune that the great tenor saxophone Zoot Sims wrote for a recording session that never happened for the great vibraphonist Teddy Charles, who worked with the likes of Miles Davis and John Coltrane and Charlie Mingus, and in fact, our students are playing tonight on Ted's 1939 Deacon vibraphone that he did all of those historic recording sessions with Train and Miles and Mingus and all those guys. So um, we open up with, uh, in a way, a debut of a very old Zoot Sims tune called I've Heard That Blues Before. One, two, uh. <laughs> 
Give a round of applause for Trey Pisano on the bass right there. That was Chase Small on the alto saxophone. Ben Cummings on the guitar. Varun Jindal on the vibraphone. Well, you're gonna meet everybody else. There's a few more tunes, so you know we'll, we'll introduce the rest later. Uh, we're gonna move along now with a tune that's called Tempest Fugit by the great piano player Bud Powell. And we are going to uh, feature opening up on this tune on the piano, Miss uh, Dimitra Vlorogu. And I probably butchered that, but close enough, right? And uh, we, we, hope that, we hope that you enjoy our, our little treatment of this um, and how we decided to approach this. And uh, we're going to take it out just a little bit and uh, see where we go with this. Thank <laughs> you. 
give a round of applause for Jared Kozinski on the drums. And on that bass solo, Mr. Louis Rubino. So, um, some of you, if you are jazz connoisseurs, you may look at this ensemble, or even the previous one, and say, wow, that's kind of non-traditional. Well, that was on purpose. And uh, we do embrace having certain instruments that are definitely stereotyped, stepping out into different roles, like, like the bass playing a melody, or a vibraphone in an ensemble, or two basses, or different groupings of instruments and just trying to explore, not just create what's been done, that's always a wonderful experience, but to individually and collectively try and find a new voice and a new direction for the music. And it's very hard, but certainly worth doing. And we would like to present for you now, um, in the spirit of that and in the spirit of the ultimate creative process, a composition that we have no music for and a composition that we have never performed before. And we call this Duet in Rounds. And we are going to uh, start off with a soloist, and then you will see how this morphs through a variety of duets and concludes with a soloist. So we hope you enjoy Duets in Rounds.
It's so uh, impressive to me that these students can have progressed so far, um, both in the pre-college and in their own studies and their own practice and with their own private teachers, um, that they could perform in front of an audience completely without anything and any course and just be so in tune and sensitive to each other and the music. I, I think that's definitely an accomplishment worthy of our applause. So. We're going to uh, play a tune for you now that was made very popular by the famous alto saxophonist Cannonball Adderley. And he had this wonderful duo for many years with his brother Nat Adderley. And this is a tune that Cannonball wrote, and it's called Walk Tall. Oh yes, and, and Demetra is on the organ. Uh -huh. <laughs> Dig that, yeah. Here we go, from the band.
I'd like to end the evening and our portion of the program with a composition written by the great trombonist Curtis Fuller, and this is a tune called Time Off. But before we do that, how about a round of applause for this wonderful ensemble and for the group that preceded us as well. I just want to say before we close what an honor it is to, to work every week with Mr. Donahue. He is really just an exceptional addition to our pre-college jazz program. And I, yeah, Mr. Duke. And I especially want to thank Mr. Herskowitz, who has been supporting the expansion of the jazz program so much. So for Mike Herskowitz, for that. thank you. And we wish you all a, a very happy holidays and uh, just hope that you have a wonderful new year. And we do invite you back to the Jazz Loft and hope we see you here sometime for a performance sometime. So here is, to close things out, Curtis Fuller's Time Off.
Mark Kaczynski on the drums, ladies and gentlemen. The Downstairs Jazz Combo. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, for coming out this evening, and we do hope to see you soon. That concludes our concert. Have a wonderful night. Thank you.